Hey, good morning, YouTube. So I decided to record this in my husband's office and trying to see what the different angles here. Um, so if I'm a little bit weird with angles still, it's a learning process here. I recorded this last night and I wound up showing a lot of stuff I didn't want to show. So this is definitely like a take three again. So here we go. I know I've said my favorite word twice there. It's okay. And what I'm going to do for you today is show you a convert kit. I have a new website going up and I wanted to go ahead and get a freebie set up. So I wanted to start from scratch and be able to show you guys this. And here we go. I'm not used to setting it up from this point on too, so I may make some mistakes. I don't really like to edit that much because I don't really have time to edit. And I like for you guys to see me, you know, be real with y'all. Because I'm a very real person, if you don't know me in person, I'm that way, <laughs> for sure. And let's see here. We're going to go ahead and say no, just getting started with email. I do have a website. And let's see here. I'll make up a password here. Oh, I'm so wrong. I've not had enough caffeine yet this morning. And actually, let's see. Above our world at gmail.com. All right, we'll tell it to save. We're going to say create a form. That's what these are called, the forms. Inline is the easiest to use, the less obtrusive. Um, with a sticky bar, that's going to slide in and stay up top. If you want to see an example of the sticky bar, I'll show you one real quick here. I think I should have more red bull before I do these. And it does not give you guys wings at all. No wings. Do you see any wings? No wings. And Alright, and, oh, um, okay, so this is a sticky bar. So with this, I do um, a lot of printers, printables, and stickers. Well, getting into stickers, if you don't know. And there is a coloring book on there as well. And so you can little printables. Two in my printable sign up hub. So you just sign up right there, enter your email address, and move forward on that one. And that's how you do that. So that's the sticky bar. The slide in just going to slide in and be there. I don't like the sticky, the slide in. I've tried to slide in and it just goes all funky. <clears throat> Sorry, my allergies, as you guys probably already know, are always horrible. And so slide in. Mine was okay. It's going to stick up there too. In line, it's there wherever you want to tell it to be there. So that's what I like about the in line. And I was creating this one last night. And so from this point here, you're just going to tweak things. I like to start with a picture. And so I've got one here on Canva. And I've shown you guys Canva a little bit before. And so with Canva, that's the one I created. Cute little picture. Thought to download. You probably can't see that over here. Sometimes my skills are not wonderful. They were all new at something, right?
All right, now I need to check the email as well. Give me just a second to get that. All right, guys, I'm on my other screen really quick here getting the little packet that I have. Okay. All right, so then back over here. All right, we got what I needed there. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. Let's go down. All right, there we go. We're back to where we need to be. All right, so I'm going to replace the picture. Choose the file. Populate, cute, with Canva, we're going to come over here and we'll go back to Canva really quick and grab the hex color for Canva. Hmm, let's see here. Why is that hex color? FEC0AB. FEC0AB. I think we're going to wind up tweaking that down a little bit. I don't necessarily want it to be the same. I've got the opacity too much there. There we go, right there. And the color there, I want blue, but I want like a navy. And I don't want that one to be that navy. I'm going to go, oh, that's horrible. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, and then the subscribe button if you want to change that. You're able to change that color as well. I want that to match. That one was FEC0AB. I want that to be more like a navyish. Got my other hex color here. Three D. Three D four B seven four. Three D four B seven four. There we go. That's perfect. Oh, but as perfect as it's going to get. And, hmm, don't I really like that. That color. Well, let me grab that hex color. F-E-E-C-B-O. I've seen a lot of videos, people trying really hard to grab hex colors from a document. That's one thing I love about Canva. Let me show you really quick here. I kind of did already, but... 
All right, so when you hover, there's your hex color. My hex color for navy is over here out of the screen to where you can't really see it. But it's there, like right there, if you wanted that purple. Anything <coughs> from the hex color. <coughs> Sorry. Anything from the hex color, you can grab it right here. Just so simple to do that. All right, so going back to the document. And let's see, settings, we'll go through general, domain, incentive. Oh, after confirming, we're going to redirect to downloads. So I forgot to do last night. Being such a dummy after a 15 minute video, y'all. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab it. We're going to save it. There you go. Click on save again. I always click save. Hate forgetting to click that. And so settings will go through real quick. Again, edit email contents. If you want to change what you're telling people, what you're sending people here, you can. You can even change colors of the button. I'll go into all that later on. And if you want to change the border radius, you can. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is horrible today. Probably should wait till later in the day. There's a few different ways to actually get this on your page. If you have pages set up and you want to say put it at the bottom of the page, like for example, um, excuse me. If you go to the impoppermom.com again, I already have all these set up. That's why I'm trying to go back and show y'all, show you guys. Not trying to spam you with multiple websites. All right, so on this one here, what I'm talking about is if you go down, and the reason that the screen's cut off, y'all, because it's a radius. There, because it wasn't letting me actually move the screen. I'm not used to the screen matic yet, as you can tell. <laughs> and no, really, mom, really. But that's, if you use the HTML code, you can go into your WordPress editor, click on the HTML text portion of it, put it there. This is what it's going to look like if you do the, that one was another form kind type. Oh, let me go back real quick. Really? All right, since I did save it, it's right here. What I wanted to change, though, sorry, my laptop in the way. What I did want to make a change on here. I think I just forgot. Oh, um, I wanted to change the title. Because when you get more than one freebie going, and more than likely, you will create more than one freebie. So when you get more than one freebie going on, you guys, what you're going to find out is that you need to title this thing. And then you click on save over here again. And that is how you do that. Let's see if I can easily show you guys. I probably can't because sometimes I get going and get very confusing on things when I try to show you too much. But let me go into Bluehost. I can get there because I don't know that we have it saved over here. Rakuten, I've got to sign up for that. I did sign up for it at the beginning. Um, Planner.com. That one's definitely going to be a long work in progress. I think that's my password. Yeah. I'm still being so stupid. Uh, that's my domain. That's not good. I'm going to look it up. 
Yeah, that is it. Okay. Now you guys get to see the inside of my Bluehost account. I'm going to do a video, too, of why I changed from HostGator. They're horrible. Absolutely horrible. And then the end there, I was like, you guys really did not want to. Y'all really did not want to. To call somebody that's got all these websites. Click on Manage Site and getting used to the differences. Because even though it is WordPress, there are some differences in how you get to things. Let's say Manage Things, because I don't have it set up yet. And Adrian at um, Eclair designs.com from Etsy is the one that created this lovely thing. I have to look at the name of it again. Chamomile. That's right. Chamomile. Alright, so in this thing I know I can get to it from there. Hold on one second. I found a back doorway. Not that y'all. I promise you, when I haven't had enough caffeine yet, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm popular. Okay, so why is everything unpopular? Okay, so I know I'm an unpopular person, mainly because of my mouth. It gets me in trouble a lot. And then I kept telling my husband, maybe you stop getting invited to this stuff. I might be stop going to stuff, um... Well, vice versa. We would get invited to things, and then we wouldn't go. And then we wouldn't get invited. I kept telling my husband, if they invite us and we don't go, they're not going to invite us anymore. And then, too, like I said, my mouth gets me in trouble a lot. Because, as you may know, I have no filter. <laughs> what is in my head is out my mouth. Those that know me in real life are going, yes. That is very true. And then, too... Uh, I always say two, so three. I wanted in the beginning of all this, I wanted to show my son and other kids that get bullied a lot that being a popper is perfectly fine. And then one day you might get popper because I started this channel out as we all do. Zero. And now look. So thank you guys on that note. All right. So this is not how I have it set up. This is just how the example thing is looking at this point in time and so let's see here i'm trying to get my dashboard that's what i was trying to get to with all of that because that's where you have to go and then you have to go down here to appearance and plugins and i don't have convert kit so i'll show you guys from the beginning how to do convert kit you to come over here and you're going to search convert kit That may be getting too far into it. Well, you do have to know how to do all of this. I'm going to go ahead and install it. Because you're going to need to know. And then we're going to click on Activate. Alright, and then you're going to come back to Plugins. Then you're going to go to Install Plugins. This is where I may get a little bit confused after going here to convert kit. I apparently was not putting it to do that. I may just go ahead and do this in another one in another video, but this is a settings. This API key. Okay, I'm gonna leave this part for a future video. And the mouse is going crazy. Alright, so add your API kit and secret to get started. That's going to take too long. We're already how long are we in? But let's tell me at the top of the screen. But if you want to see this part, you can either search it or you can watch out for another upcoming video as I get further into convert kit. But I really just wanted to show you guys the very beginning. Although Debating I'll go ahead and showing you guys too on all of this. Um but I don't I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on my API. I think it is in the very beginning of convert kit that you can get that API. But I don't wanna be flip flopping around and not knowing where to go. So at this point in time after an awkward awkward ending. 
Um, <laughs> I will watch out for part two for the API. Okay, or you can look up API. I may do a blog post on the API so that you guys know where to do it uh, later on at. So watch out for one or the other on that. I'll link it back to this video. Sorry to end it like this, guys, but I forgot about the whole API that I didn't have that part set up. So I will just go into that in a future video. See you guys. Bye. Sorry, I'm looking for my end button. So take two on the ending. <laughs> Have a great weekend. See you guys next time around and stay safe. Bye, y'all.